good with that. I think it looks good. I'm gonna, I just ripped it a little bit in some corners. Let's ink that up and I'll probably be covering that with uh, something, something. I'll find something to stick on there. So I am distressing the outside of this big square. I'll do the same to the little square and then the entire outside. And again, this isn't just, um, you know, giving it a nice uh, feel, like um, a spooky feel because I'm distressing in black ink. It's also giving everything like a common factor by distressing everything along the outside and it's covering up these white paper edges here. Okay, so I'm going to finish this up. I'm just going to use ATG glue to, or ATG gun tape, whatever, to glue this on and then I'm going to cut all the things to uh, to cover this box and then I'll be back and we'll glue them on together. What do you think? What do you think about that? All right. Hello everybody. So we are on the home stretch here. And I did pre-cut some paper. And one of my little decorations is going to be these pumpkins. Just show you how easy it is to cut these out. It's easier to move the paper than it is to move the scissors. If you've never done this before. And voila, you got some pumpkins. Aren't they cute? Okay, so let's get our box. Remember, we have our little dice there. Let me find it. Oh, let me find a chair. Okay. So, remember, we have the front of the box. We need to cover the sides and the back. Um, I'm going to start with the inside of this box here. I'm gonna put this, I really like this though. So I, I initially I thought I was gonna use this, but I like this. So I'm gonna change my mind. It's dark, but it's Halloween, so. Yeah. Changing my mind on the fly. Oh, crud. I'm having technical difficulties. There, there we go. use the purple authentic paper go oops and that's gonna go right there and it's just gonna span the whole lid I think I cut it exactly and the little magnet sticking out here that's good because then it's gonna still stick to that Okay, and then for the lid, the upper upper side of the lid, I just have a piece of plain black. Cardstock. I can measure these things for you guys, sorry. This is 
five and three quarter by two and three quarter. go and then this one is six no five and three quarter by uh, a little over two it's like two and an eighth but that was that whole border strip I just used the whole thing my glue gun ATG gun keeps sticking and I want it to be facing this way and that looks horrible. Here we go. That's better. All right. And then the sides I struggled with, but I really, really like these. This owl paper, um, which is the opposite side of the banners. So I was like, well, the rest of it's like purple. <clears throat> so I should make it purple, right? No, I didn't. I like this too much. So I'm going to put it this way so the owls are mostly facing up. Here we go, side. And that's okay. It doesn't have to all be purple. even like uh, eight, a quarter to eighth inch all the way around. When you build stuff like this, you do end up gaining a bit depending on how you uh... um, I think I'm going to put these pumpkins here. What do you think? I like it. I'm going to get my art glitter glue. Yeah. Oh. No problem. Oh, I got it. And we're just gonna run a bead right. Am I gonna run a bead? There one, and then I'm gonna put another one down here. And then we'll go doop, doop, but maybe this way. I want them kind of overlapping. Doop, doop. One down here. Doop. Aren't those cute? Uh, remember our um, <clears throat> our little window cutouts, and I said, oh, you know, I could use those for cut parts. Well, let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to cut out these two flowers here. I'm not going to cut out all the foliage and stuff. Because I'm just going to tuck them behind the pumpkins. 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 I'm going to cut that. If you wanted to tuck them behind two different pumpkins, you can just cut those right there and then the piece that overlaps. Uh, th that's a bit big. Um, should I add him somewhere else? Like over here in this corner? I think I'm going to add him over here in this corner. Jupe. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay. Cute, cute. Okay. Oh. Remember my issue with the um, the blocks falling all the way down in there? Well, I have these gussets that I never use, these half inch gussets. I'm just going to take three, six of them it looks like, stack them on top of each other, glue them together. That's gonna give me that's gonna give me like a half inch lift there, so that I'll do it. But I'll, I'll do it. Okay, and then I'm thinking maybe the 
this orange flower here. And you can always go around the outside with like a black marker or um, distressing. And I will probably layer this flower. Right here on top of these. Loop. They're cute. Okay. Good with the flowers. Um, this thing here, just because it's ugly, cover it up with a piece of washi tape. Here we go. Voila. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, do I want to do the sides too? I don't think they'll show. No, I'm not going to do the sides. We'll just do that. And then just glue it right on the back. And because it doesn't span the whole thing, you want to put it right in the middle. There we go. And I'm going to let that dry for a minute. And let's talk about the back. The back, I think, I think I want to do a pocket. So this is um, cut for the back. It is cut at nine, nine and a quarter. No, nine and a half by six. Five, five and seven eighths. And I'm going to cut it right about there. Where you want your pocket. Just like that. And then I'm going to cut a piece of border strip to five and seven eighths. And that's what I'm going to use. Okay. I'm going to add some ink to. I don't think I really need to add ink to either one of them. I'm going to, anyways. And then. And you can put a decorative edge on this if you want. Which I still might. Let's see. So I'm, I'm going to tuck this under, I think. So let's do that. This is great for cut apart too. I'm going to make sure I cover my tape so that stuff doesn't get stuck to it. Okay. That's crooked. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's use our resources. Okay, there. That's better. And then you can put a decorative edge on here. I have punches. Let me get off my butt and go get one. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> it works for me. Let me make sure that I'm not going to. It's gonna punch into the orange. I don't really, don't really mind, except I don't know if it's gonna. Uh, yeah, this is getting all over my floor. That's all right. That's all right. Let's see here. Okay. I'm slightly confused. There it is. I found it. Okay. One more. It's a partial. Here we go. Uh huh. Okay. So that's that's good. It just gives it like. Is it like a here's a pocket kind of vibe? Okay, let's see here. And we can glue 
this one right down. And then we can use tape on this one and then we'll use glue on the pocket. pocket in the back you can put whatever you want I'm gonna put a tag but you could always put like um, Halloween cards or whatever and then if you want to give it a, I'm gonna give it a little boost by sticking this piece of chipboard under there while it's gluing down so that it's not so flush I want some room in my pocket. Let's see here. While that's drying, let's cut. This one's cute. I'm just looking for things to put to decorate the front up just a little bit. If you guys get the sticker sheet with this, you can definitely utilize those stickers at this point. And I'm just going to cut it like that. I'm not going to be real precise. Um, oh, I wanted to, I could fussy cut this out. I think I want to put that like right here. Like you open this up and you see this. Let me try to put that on straight. Nope. Okay, that looks better. Um, yeah, I want to put this over here next to this pumpkin. But I don't want it to look like weird. Okay, I got some sequin. Oh. That sequence was really full. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just going to put a couple pieces on here. good. I just want a few just to add a little bit of interest. My dog found the squeaker in her toy. I'll be cutting some of this out. I have this big tag um, let's see if I have a scrap that I could use for it, or I can just leave it plain. What do you guys think? Just put this in here for now, we can decide to do with, what to do with it later. And then, let's address this. I want something pretty bold or at least something that you can see to say days but it cannot I can't go into where the numbers are So, but I like this because um, this is a fun collection and this is a fun font. So I think it may be too big. 
Let's see, I have... I have this um, old Tim Holtz, but I'm almost out of letters. <clears throat> I have an S, a Y, a D, I don't have an A. <laughs> that would have been fun. Oh wait, here's another one. I still don't have an A. Uh, I think I have another Tim Holtz set here. Okay, guys. On the home stretch, and I figured it out. I'm gonna use these old um, American Crafts delightful something stickers. They're like foamy. And I'm going to use this for days and it's gonna go ooh they're really old they're so sticky eh. I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to get these back up so I've got put them in the right place look it's so sticky it's peeling though okay I'm I'm committing I'm putting it down day Days is going down the side. Kind of a tone on tone dealy. Oh, days. Days. Hopefully that'll be readable. Okay, days. And then I'm going to use until, I'm going to do until, so you, um, I have a, I'm going to move that down a little bit because the T sticks up. I'll go ahead and use another U for the end. I don't have to turn the page. Isn't this cute? Until and I also decided that Halloween was just too big to write out in thickers. So I have an alternate plan. Until one thing that we didn't do was cover the bottom and I'm not going to. Because you're not gonna see it. If I did it would be in plain black cardstock. If I have a piece left over that size, I will. Until. Until. And then I have this um, border strip. I have so much Halloween stuff. And I looked everywhere for a sticker that said Halloween and I couldn't find one. We're just going to use this one off of the board strip. And do I leave it square or do I cut it out a little bit? I think I'm going to like faux kind of give it a shape even though I'm not following the shape all that close. Sometimes if you just wiggle your scissors a little bit it makes it look like you've done something um, Extraordinary. As long as you don't cut something off. Like a lot of times when I'm fussy cutting people and I get to their hair, I'm literally just like, new, 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 new. Alrighty. Close enough. Okay. And I'm just going to hit the corners with the black soot distress ink. And this is going to get pasted on here. So guys, that's that. Um, uh, we had some issues with the measurements, so I will fix that. And I will make you guys a separate cutting guide. And I will try and notate whenever I change something um, throughout the video. So. There you go.
what do you think? Super cute. And you guys could do, um, you fill it with candy. What do you think about filling it with candy? But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This is my first design team project for Country Craft Creations. The second one is going to be an album made from the Bewitched collection that fits right inside there. What do you think about that? Um, and let me rephrase that. I'm, I think I'm going to do an October Daily album. So you guys stay tuned for that. And we'll talk to you later. And everybody have a wonderful day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.